all right guys welcome back to my channel today I will show you how to fry a nice and tasty and delicious red snapper um, I had the butcher fillet it for me but I will not throw this out guys I have another piece I'm gonna clean it off and I will be making a soup or fish soup with this our snapper is nice and cleaned and I use a towel to pat it dry and so what I will do is cut it in half okay and cut it in half like this make sure your knife is sharp I'm gonna cut into four pieces this should be right okay and we're gonna cook it skin down first what I like to do is come back with a paper towel just to pat it down making sure it's there's no moisture on it and I like to go ahead and put some slices on our fish just hold it like this and two slices should be enough per fish and the reason I'm adding the slits in there is once I put them in the pan they have a tendency of curling up so this would prevent it from curling up on me as I'm trying to fry it so now I'm gonna season both sides um, in here I have um, a little bit of paprika. I have a little bit of black pepper, salt, um, garlic powder, onion powder. Um, you can use whatever you know seasoned mix that you like. This is just a basic one that I like. And I do have salt in here as well. I believe I mentioned that. So you wanna make sure your fish is nice and seasoned. And I do have a little bit of my Simashan in here as well. That's one of my um, Creole seasonings. So we're gonna make sure it is nice and seasoned. And even in the crack, well not even the crack, the slits, we're gonna add just a little seasoning to make sure once we're eating this, it is tasty all the way through all right guys and there's something um, else we also like to do is to add just a drop of lime because you have to have your lime juice on here okay so I'm going to just rub it in making sure every part of our fish is covered like that okay and then we're gonna go ahead and turn them over I'm gonna season the other side let me add just a little bit more of our lime juice in here then we're gonna season it If you notice, I'm not adding too much seasoning, only because the mix that I made, um, it has salt, it has seasoning salt, so we do not want our fish to be salty. We just want it to be nice and flavorful, so keep that in mind. All right, guys, our fish is nice and seasoned. So now what I will do is to my flour, just the remainder of my seasoning. I'm just gonna add some of it to it. Well, let me just add the whole thing. And then we're gonna give it a quick mix. I'm gonna go ahead and take 
our fish. I'm gonna turn it over, get some flour on both sides. But then we're gonna take off all of the extra flour. We do not want this you know, coated with a lot of flour. I will go ahead and repeat the step with the other fish. Then I'll come back. And if you missed one, it's fine. Just go back and I'm gonna come back and show you what I do next. I'm gonna go ahead and add my fish in. Skin down first. See, although I put the slit in it, it kind of rolls anyway, but that's fine. I'm going to add this one in. Then I'll cook the other one. Guys, the lighting is not that great in here because the sun is setting and I have this big window here so there's no, nothing I can do about it. So we're gonna just let it fry for a couple of minutes on both sides. Then I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. Then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and turn our fish at this point. Let me use my knife to assist me. Guys, our fish is looking beautiful. This is looking delicious. Once they're cooked, I'm gonna come back and show you how I serve it. All right guys, here's our delicious fish. For those who are intimidated when it comes to frying a whole fish, go ahead and fillet it. It is fabulous. Until next time, like, comment, don't forget to subscribe.